Hello! Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today's episode is delicious. What do you mean, delicious? Well, viewer, today's episode is on a billion dollar industry that has been scientifically proven to help athletes stay hydrated. That's right, today's episode is on sports drinks. Now, what are sports drinks? Well, one thing I can tell you about them is that they're tasty. The sports drink I'm drinking right now, Gatorade, is one of the biggest sports companies in the world. Gatorade makes about $3.3 billion every single year. But how was it started? Back in 1965, the football team Florida Gators needed a drink that would replace the lost fluids during the game. A group of scientists created a drink that contained many ingredients that could help the players refill their lost sweat. After the team used the drink and won the Orange Bowl, the special drink caught a lot of attention in the sports world. The drink got its name Gatorade after the first team who used it. Now that you know the history and the most popular sports drink, let's get into a little information about what you're actually drinking. First of all, sports drink's main purpose is to keep the person hydrated. Dehydration causes you to lose blood volume, and a loss of blood can make you tired and prevent you from dissipating heat. Sports drinks contain three main things. These three key ingredients are sugar, salt, and water, plus coloring and flavoring. <laughs> Each key ingredient plays an important role on your body. Salt and water main purpose is to replenish your sweat. During a hard workout, your body loses sodium and water content as disgusting sweat. The salt and water inside sports drinks keeps you hydrated. Salt intake is especially important for athletes who sweat constantly. But how much salt is really needed inside sports drinks? Too much salt tastes disgusting, but too little isn't enough to keep an athlete hydrated. So, most sports drinks contain 20 mm of salt. This amount has been perfected over the years, but is a great amount to keep the athlete hydrated without having to taste awful. The third key ingredient, sugar, gives you energy. The sugar inside sports drinks have been proven to help athletes improve their performance. But, the more concentrated the sugar is, the slower it takes for it to reach the small intestines where it is absorbed. The sugar amount in sports drinks actually classifies what type of sports drink it is. If the sports drink contains less than four grams of sugar per 100 millimeters, the drink is called a hypotonic drink and is used for very short excursions. If the drink contains four to eight grams of sugar, the drink is called an isotonic drink and is used to provide energy to the body quickly, usually used for endurance sports. The last drink, hypertonic drinks, contain more than eight grams of sugar and are ideal to be used for an hour before an exercise. These drinks give the person a lot of energy, but are usually used for long, non-draining excursions. Maybe like video games? Some sports drinks contain proteins and amino acids to help muscle repair. Others contain caffeine, but technically then they're considered energy drinks. Now that you know what goes inside these sports drinks and the different types of sports drinks, you may be wondering, isn't water good enough? 
Well, actually, water may be a better supplement for shorter exercises. George A. Brooks, a professor in the Department of Integrated Biology at the University of California, Berkeley, says that the added sugar and other ingredients aren't really needed during shorter exercises. If you're going to a gym for 45 minutes, water is more than enough. However, during longer exercises, the added sugars and salt can help an athlete stay hydrated and succeed. Although sports drinks are tasty, they're actually not really healthy for you. The added sugars and salts are not really for someone who is on a diet. Even though water is great, if you drink too much of it while losing too much sodium in your body, you can develop a dangerous condition. Hyponatremia is a life-threatening condition where your blood becomes dilute and excess water enters the body's cells and tissues including the brain, which can swell. Overall, sports drinks are mainly used for long durational exercises. They can help keep athletes more hydrated than water, but aren't really healthy for someone who wants to stay slim. Water is a better supplement for shorter exercises because the added sugars and salts aren't really needed unless you're going for a long exercise. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.